गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इट्स मी आशराफ एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इट्स सिक्स ए एम नाउ एंड वी आर करेंटली एट पागा मंडल अकूक नियर द फॉरेस्ट ऑफिस थ्री अवर्स लेफ्ट बैंगलोर एट मिड नाइट एंड रीच थेयर आफ्टर अ सिक्स आवर ड्राइव कवरिंग अबाउट टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स वी आर हेयर टू डू द निशानी मोटर ट्रैक विच बिगिन सेवन किलोमीटर फ्रॉम हेयर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू गेट परमिशन फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट ऑफिस विच ओपन्स एट एट ए एम In the meantime we booked a room at Hotel Mayura to rest and have breakfast before coming to the forest office. You can book your trek pass online and once you've done that you need to report here. I've included the booking link in the video description you can check it out. The entry fee is 350 rupees per person and there's an additional guide fee usually 500 rupees which can be shared among the group. Having a guide is mandatory for entering the forest and trekking without permission. or a guide is prohibited and punishable so don't try that in addition to us there are 12 other people in today's trekking group the trek starts about 7 kilometers away from the forest office you can either drive your own vehicle or take an auto rickshaw from here however it's recommended to hire a taxi because there's no dedicated parking area at the starting point and it might not be safe to leave your vehicle there also the trek begins at one place and ends at another so you'll need to arrange a taxi again to get back to where your vehicle is parked this is the starting point of the trek which usually begins near the talakovri temple i thought our guide would take us there but he chose a different route saying it's the best option he's our guide and that's his daughter who often joins him for company nishani motor trek covers 16 kilometers round trip and typically takes 5 to 6 hours to complete although it depends on individual pace right now it's 10:30 am and the weather is pleasant we're trekking in the first week of october which is the mild rainy season here making it easier without the harsh sun this trek will take at least 6 hours to complete so make sure to bring enough food snacks and water with you there are no shops along the trail so you'll need to pack everything beforehand we picked up some food in town before we catch the auto and it's especially important to carry enough water Our guide mentioned there are streams along the way where you can refill your bottle. So carrying a 1 liter bottle should be enough as you can refill it when needed. And it's important not to litter while trekking. You should take back all the plastic bottles and wrappers you bring with you and dispose of them at the proper place. Usually at the check post they count the plastics you're carrying and if you don't bring them back you might be fined. This rule is common in many trekking spots and it's a good way to keep the environment clean. In some cases like here a forest guide may be with you and it's part of their job to make sure you're following these rules. Trekking through this Nishani Motte Trail in Korg is an exciting and immersive experience for nature lovers. The trek started in the verdant forests of the Brahmagiri range and takes adventurers through a variety of landscapes including dense woodlands, coffee plantations and scenic grasslands. This trail is moderately challenging with narrow paths steep inclines and occasional rocky patches the journey to the summit which is about 4167 feet high offers stunning views of the western ghats especially as you ascend higher and the mist begins to lift revealing the rolling hills and valleys below trekkers often encounter the rich biodiversity of the region such as colorful birds and unique flora and here will be the higher possibility of spotting wildlife from the pushpagiri wildlife sanctuary So the main reason forest guide is mandatory to accompanies with you the trek to ensure safety monitor environmental rules and assist with navigating the trail Everything about the trek at Nishani Motor is great except for one thing leeches this trek has the worst leech attacks i've ever encountered Before we started our guide recommended buying the tool or sanitizers but we ignored the advice thinking a few leech bites would be manageable However we soon realized how severe the leech problem really was especially in the rainy season if you're planning this trek be prepared Nishani Motte is known for its wet and forested terrain so leeches are common to protect yourself wear long sleeves and tuck your pants into your socks to reduce exposed skin you can also use leech socks or apply anti leech sprays such as a mix of detol and water or insect repellents with teeth Keep moving on the trail as leeches tend to latch on when you're still. Regularly check your clothes for leeches, especially around your legs. 
If a leech bites, don't pull it off as it might leave its teeth behind, causing itching. Instead, apply salt, sanitizer or vinegar to make it let go. Clean the bite afterward to prevent infection. With these precautions, you can enjoy the trek without worrying too much about leeches. This Nishani Mote is a lesser known trekking trail in Kork. Although I have explored most of the popular trekking spots in the area, but I had overlooked this one. To be honest, I didn't realize that it's one of the best trails in Kork. The trek begins through beautiful shola forests and meadows, leading to an exciting ridge walk that takes you to the summit. Come, let's explore and enjoy this amazing trail. Hey, how is the views? It's amazing, right? What I've shown so far doesn't capture the full experience. You have to be here to truly feel it. It's definitely worth it. This isn't the summit yet. These are just views along the way. We still have to go another two or three kilometers to reach the summit. And we've already covered around five kilometers. As we move towards the summit, you'll notice the grassy ridges leading up to Nishani Motor Peak. The view from here is breathtaking. The ridge walk passes two major peaks, with the first one taking about 30 minutes to climb. After that, a few more gentle climbs take you to the second ridge. From here, you can clearly see Nishani Motor Peak, which has a distinctive X-shaped top. The final part of the trek to Nishani Motor involves a steep climb. We reach the summit around 2 p.m., taking about three hours to get there. The peak stands at roughly 4,100 feet. 
and has a small area that can only accommodate about 10, 15 people at once. From the top, you can enjoy stunning views of valleys on both sides, with a series of hills stretching into the distance. Be aware that it gets extremely windy at the summit, so it's important to be cautious while soaking in the beautiful scenery. We spent about 30 minutes resting there, and as we relaxed, a light rain began to fall. We decided to have lunch in the rain before starting our descent. The first 15 minutes of the descent are quite steep, so it's important to watch your step. Take a moment to admire the stunning views around you. As we continued, the rain grew heavier, so it's essential to carry rain gear, especially if you're trekking during the rainy season. Also, always watch where you're stepping. Not just because of leeches, but also because we spotted various creatures like snakes, snails and scorpions. Be cautious as you walk. Okay friends, I'm wrapping up the video now. I hope this was helpful if you're planning to do the Nishani Mortar Trek. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to ask in the comments or message us on Instagram. We're always happy to help. Our journey doesn't stop here. We'll be back with another exciting video soon. Until then, goodbye and see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to share this with your friends who love trekking. Thank you.